Hi you guys, welcome to Vlogmas day seven. My hair is soaking wet because I just got out of the shower. Clearly I'm not in Dallas. I was actually supposed to leave this morning, but I didn't go to bed last night until like 4 a.m. I don't think because I was editing Vlogmas day six and trying to get that up. So I was up super, super late. And honestly, I don't think like during this entire Vlogmas, like I've gone to bed before. 3 a.m. was probably like the earliest I've actually gotten myself to bed. So anyways, I was up super, super late last night and I didn't get to like packing or anything like that. I had started a few loads of laundry like before I went to bed because I planned on waking up at like 8 or 9 a.m. and like finishing the laundry, letting it dry, packing, everything like that. I was editing on the couch last night and I literally like woke up like hunched over my laptop because I had like fallen asleep in the middle of editing. So I was super tired and just wanted to go to bed and I like, didn't want to pack or anything last night. I feel like you guys can probably see where this is going, but I set a bunch of alarms, like multiple alarms. I set it on my phone, I set it on my hatch, like so many different alarms. I wake up and it was like 1241. <laughs> so it was super late and then whenever I did wake up, I had like the worst headache. I just felt like I got like hit by a truck or something. Like my whole body hurt, like I was just tired and I'm not sick at all. I think my body was just super exhausted because I've been going to bed at like, the other night I literally went to bed at 6 a.m. because I was up until 6 a.m editing. <laughs> so I think my body was just like really, really tired. And I think it's just like, no, like you are not going to get another like four to five hours of sleep. Like I am forcing you to get a whole eight hours of sleep. So I woke up, I was like, okay, like I just like, I can't go to Dallas. Like I'm so exhausted. I just need to like take the day to relax a little bit. I have so much work to do and I really wanted to go so badly. And I had to like, I lost a couple hundred dollars with like the hotel and um, we had some like tickets and stuff for like a fun little like candlelight concert this evening. And I really wanted to go because I feel like I don't want my vlogs to get boring for you guys. I feel like because I work from home. So I'm at my house a lot. And then I also like live here. So I feel like I'm just like in my house a lot. It's like, I don't want them to get boring for you guys. So I thought it would also be fun to go to Dallas so that you guys have like some different content to see. But then I was like this morning, I was like, okay, I'm so tired. Like, I, I just don't want to go. Like, I just want to stay home. I have, you know, so much that I need to do here. And it would be really hard to like film a day and then I'd have to stay up super late in the hotel editing and then I had plans to like meet my friend Christina for brunch like the next morning so I'd have to like stay up until 4 a.m and then wake up at 9 a.m to do that and I'm like I'm just gonna be so exhausted and I know there's like a lot of sickness going around right now and I don't want to get anything with like a weaker immune system so even though it would have been a lot of fun and I feel like you guys probably would have enjoyed that content maybe a little bit better than me like just being here and doing like my normal stuff I was like I'm just gonna like my body's like saying no. So I just decided to cancel the trip last minute. And now it's like 6 p.m. So I'm honestly glad that I did because I didn't finish like completely uploading and getting like the description and thumbnail and everything like that of Vlogmas Day 6 done until almost like 4 p.m. So I, there's no way I would have had time to do that there. Um, and I really wanted to get that up for you guys. So I'm glad that I did it. I needed like a little morning just to kind of sit around and I'll be like super busy and doing stuff. So anyways, that's kind of what happened with Dallas. It's a bummer, but I'll probably like reschedule the trip at some point. So since we're not going to Dallas, Austin and I decided that we would go grab some dinner at a place called The Vault. They have really good like barbecue. It's like a Korean barbecue mac and cheese with tofu. And it sounds weird, but it's like the best thing in the entire world. But we tried to get that on Vlogmas Day 1, but they ended up like closing early, so we weren't able to get it. So we're gonna go do that tonight and have like a fun little date night. I thought we could get ready together, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, the first thing I'm using is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This stuff is absolutely amazing and keeps your makeup on all day long. This is what I use in Chicago and it just worked so, so well. Um, it's a primer and it's a setting spray. So you use it like before and after your makeup, which is really cool. It's waterproof, it prevents creasing, it just like makes your makeup look flawless on. So I really, really like this stuff. Okay, and then the next thing we're doing is I'm using my Kosas Skin Revealer Creamy Concealer. Oh, guys are do hi, Bubby. That just like scared the crap out of me. Kai just came like busting in here. Okay, anyways, I guess I'll leave the door open so that he can see what I'm doing and where I'm at. I normally don't put on this much concealer, um, but I'm breaking out quite a bit. And like I said, I'm super tired. So <laughs> we're putting on some extra today. And then I'm just using this buffing foundation brush from e.l.f. to kind of like buff that out. Okay, and then once I have that blended in, I'm gonna be going in with my Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. This has SPF 25. This stuff is amazing. It leaves like a really 
really nice dewy finish. Um, it's just really pretty. Hi, Kaiser Duke. Hi, bubbies. Did you come to say hi? He always has to be in here with me while I'm like getting ready. Or if I take a shower, like he's just laying by the shower door. It's so funny. Anyways, but I really like this stuff because it has a bunch of skincare in it. Like it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, peptide, squalene, pro vitamin B5, arnica, caffeine, and then artemisia flower. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, but it has a bunch of like really good skincare in there. So I really like it. And it's just like such a pretty coverage. I don't know if you guys can really even see. The lighting in my bathroom is so weird because it just comes from like overhead versus like directly at you. So if I wasn't renting this house, I would get like a new mirror that had like the lights all around it. So it's like a little bit better lighting in here. But point being, it's a really pretty finish. This is what I've been using. Um, I think I started using this when we went to Chicago. Oh my gosh. Also, you guys, I was reading through comments <laughs> about like the video that Austin and I did and they were so sweet. Like I love that you guys love that video and it was funny too because you guys were like oh like he brings out a personality that like of katie that we like never really get to see and i was laughing at that because like that's my like personality in real life like i'm just very goofy i laugh a lot but it's like i feel like when i'm just talking to the camera like the camera's not making jokes back at me you're like laughing <laughs> with me so i feel like i actually like, don't really show like my funny side as much but also like it's kind of hard to show your funny side like to a camera you know what i mean but anyways like when i'm with most people like that's exactly how i am like that's my personality i'm just like very goofy but anyways i'm really glad that you guys liked that video i loved it i thought it was so fun i was also laughing because i got a few dms being like oh like you can see his face in like a certain part of the video like i think he went to go get like paper towels or something and they're like you might want to like cut that out or something else. <laughs> and it made me laugh so i was like no like i'm not trying to hide him like he literally is just super tall like i would just need a wider angle lens to show him so no i wasn't trying to hide him um if any of you guys thought that i literally just like couldn't fit him in frame but also like he's been on my channel a bunch he's been on like my instagram my social media so you guys have already seen him so it's not like i'm trying to like hide him or anything like that but after that i'm going to take my laura mercier translucent loose setting powder this one is the ultra blur and then the little puff so I'm super curious, have you guys already done all of your Christmas shopping? Do you guys have everything or do you guys still have like a bunch to do? I feel like I have like most people's stuff, um, which is good because I kind of like started getting it honestly like in November, which is surprising for me because usually I'm more of a last minute type of gal. But um, yeah, so I feel like I have like most people's stuff already. I think really the only people I still need to buy for is my step family. I kind of like never know what to get them. And typically like <laughs> every year we all just get each other like gift cards. Cause I think like no one really knows like what to get each other. And whenever my mom and my stepdad got married, like we were all kind of like older, like I'm the baby of the family. And it was really only like me, my sister, and then one of my stepbrothers living at home um whenever they got married so we didn't really like grow up with each other or anything like that so um i feel like we don't all know each other like super super well we don't really ever know what to get them um i have a few ideas for one of my stepbrothers and then i got all this stuff for like my stepsister and then my two stepbrothers wives because girls are just easier to shop for i feel like for me than guys um so i bought all that stuff but I still need to get some stuff for my stepbrothers, so I have no idea what I'm gonna get for them. Other than that, I have all the Christmas gifts, which is so nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys like what I'm doing. I'm using my Hourglass. This is the Ambient Luminous Bronze Light um, Bronzer. This one is my favorite. So if you guys have any like good gift ideas for guys, let me know. They are all around, what, like 27 to 35. I actually don't know how old they are. Um, but they're in that age range. I feel like usually for like my everyday makeup, I do like my Laura Mercier one. The Laura Mercier one's like a very light peach. So I'm probably gonna go for my Ofra. I actually got this in like an Ipsy bag a really long time ago. Um, it's the Ofra blush, All We Need Is Love. And it's like this really pretty, like corally pink. If you guys do want to like shop any of uh, the makeup or anything like that that I'm using, I'll have it all linked down below for you guys as well. Okay, and then on top of that, to kind of like bring a little bit of the glow back, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand, and this one's in the shade Peachgasm. I love this stuff. It is so worth the hype. I really want to try their like bronzer next or their like contour wand because I feel like that would be so nice. I know a lot of people use that, so it'd be fun to try that at some point, but I really like this one. And I'm just going to blend that out with like the same brush that I use for my foundation. I'm using my Laura Mercier Brow Dimension. This one, I can't link, and I've said this before, but I don't think they sell this anymore, so I won't be able to link this one, but I'll link something similar. Okay, and then next up for my eyes, I'm actually gonna be using this NYX. It's a brow tint pen, 
but it's like a light brown and it has this like little brush pen but i actually really like to use this as eyeliner because i personally don't like like super dark black heavy eyeliner um but i like a little something so i use this and it's like light enough and creamy enough that i can just like wipe it if i like mess up on it or something like that and it's not like ruining your whole makeup like i feel like black eyeliner does so i like to just put a little bit of this in like a very small wing and then after that i'm going to put on some mascara i'm going to use my rare beauty one i'm getting so hungry because i really only had breakfast today because i was planning on being out of town so i kind of like ran out of food and now i'm like really hungry i only had like a small breakfast so i'm super excited for like korean barbecue mac and cheese that's gonna be so freaking good and then after that i go ahead and spray it again with my charlotte tilbury um primer setting spray Okay, and then the last thing that I have to do is just my lips, and I'm gonna do a red lip tonight. Um, I'm actually gonna do this step after I do my hair and then put on my outfit. Like last time I did my lips before I put on my outfit, and I pulled like a turtleneck over my head, and it just a got all over the turtleneck, got on my chin somehow, and it's just like kind of messy. So I'm gonna do my hair first, and then put on an outfit, and then we'll do the red lips right before we go. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. In one of my last vlogs, I already showed you guys like my full hair care routine, all of the products that I use, like how I blow dry it, style it. Like, the whole nine yards that is on vlogmas day three so if you guys want to see that you guys can go back and watch that video but the only thing i'm going to be doing differently than what i did in that video is i'm going to be using this curling iron it was on sale for 50 dollars, and i really have been looking for like a bigger barrel so this one's like one and a half inch whereas like the t3 is one and a quarter inch so so this one kind of like creates like bigger looser curls so i'm going to use this tonight um i'll let you guys know how it goes and if i like it we'll see if like the curls hold all that good stuff okay hair is done i actually really like the way it turned out one thing i will say for sure is that like the barrel like and the quality is not the same i mean granted one's like 250 dollars, and then this one was 50 dollars, so you get what you pay for um but i will definitely say that like the t3 is a lot nicer it glides over your hair um a lot nicer probably like damages your hair a lot less all that stuff but i just wanted to try out like a one and a half inch curling iron because i've actually never tried one of those so i need to curl these pieces again these two pieces always go straight without fail like every single time no matter what curling iron i use these two pieces will always go straight i'm trying to figure out what i want to wear tonight um it is a little bit cooler i think it's a little bit rainy i need to dress for something like a little bit warmer Okay, and then for my outfit, I'm to ignore my closet. It is the biggest mess. I need to tackle this. Um, and this will definitely be a project that I need to do soon. But I got this like oversized sweater dress from Amazon. So I might do this and then I might find some like sheer tights or something like that to wear them with and then some boots and maybe throw like a cute jacket over top. Okay, I found these tights. I don't know if you guys are really even gonna be able to see this, but like they're dupes for the Gucci ones. Um, I actually got them off Amazon. It's so hard to put on tights, especially like more like fishnetty type ones with like long nails because i'm trying not to like get it like caught in there like rip it or something which i'm gonna use like my flat hands i want to do these like black pointed toe boots um i think that looks so cute with it the only issue is i have no idea where the other one is okay great news i found the other boot i don't know why i just had this like random like revelation of where i left it which i love when that happens because i've been looking for it for like six months i also grabbed the coat that i'm gonna wear tonight Okay, boots are on. Now I just need to find the belt. Can't find my little black like waist belt. So I'm literally gonna use this like little silk rope tie and I tied it in like a little, you can't even really see it, but I tied it in like a little bow in the back. Okay, so this will be like the little coat of the night. Also you guys, I literally got this coat from Walmart. This is not the cutest thing. I think it was like 60 bucks. So really affordable for like a nice coat like this. It like goes past my knees. It has cute little pockets. I just think it's so cute. Okay, and then bag. Should we maybe do my Freya New York one? Would that be cute? Or is that too casual? I feel like maybe I'll actually just go with my usual purse. Cause I like the chain on that one and I feel like it looks like a little bit more dressy, so. Okay, and then for my earrings, I'm gonna be doing these little, um, these are the Drew Huggies from Miranda Fry. So I like wearing them like whenever I have like my hair down because I feel like they're like a little bit more noticeable than if I wear like more like thin or like tiny chunky hoops. So I like these. I'm gonna wear these. Also, my hair is pretty much almost like gone straight and it's like, I don't know, it's a little tangly and everything. So I honestly don't know if I'm gonna keep that curling iron because it's been like a total of like 15 minutes since I finished doing my hair and it like 
is pretty much straight and just doesn't really like, look good like typically my hair will fall but it doesn't fall a like that much that fast and it'll at least have like a little bit of like a curl in it versus this is like most pieces are like pretty straight so but i feel like you definitely get what you pay for like my t3 one is like 250 dollars, and, and then this hot tools one was only like 50 bucks so definitely like my t3 a little bit better okay and then for my lips i actually decided because i feel like i'm doing like a little bit more of like an extra outfit i kind of feel like a red lip might be like a little bit too much for me so i think i'm just gonna go with my charlotte tilbury pillow top one but i'll show you guys the one that i used in the tipsy q a and it was the peri para ink velvet 33 it's like this little bottle i actually worked with them on an amazon video back in the fall and i just really love their stuff like it's all like very velvety and creamy um and like nice and hydrating as well so that's the one that i used i'll link it down below if you guys are looking for a good red lip product Okay, and then this is the final little fit. I'm probably gonna tie my coat since it is like a little chilly outside. But anyways, that's the little OOTN. We're gonna go ahead and head out, go grab some dinner. Okay, just got in the car. I used some of this Clarence lip oil. This one's in the shade raspberry like I thought it was, but it's like a, just like a really pretty finish. I feel like it like gives your lips some nice hydration and it makes your lips super, super soft. So that's the last thing I added on here with Austin. He's driving. Anyways, I'm gonna turn out the light now so he can actually drive and not have his like bright light. Got a little drink we also just ordered our food and i am so excited it's also so cute in here it's like all decorated for christmas they have like little christmas trees out there it's so cute in here i got our korean barbecue tofu this stuff is so so good and then we both got the cashew mac and cheese and it has caramelized onions in there and then you also put a little barbecue sauce on top and this is seriously so good such a weird combo but it's absolutely amazing and then austin got the same thing except for he got his with kale in it but it's so so yummy